flesh on your line Your day's just begun The world of American Angler On lakes and on streets Now you're living the good life Catch the one of your dreams Hi and welcome to Roosevelt Lake in Arizona I'm Pat Trainer, and this is the American Angler. Today we've got a special guest for you, a gentleman that I met at the boat show last year, and I was very impressed with his teaching ability and his knowledge and his pursuit and love for crappie. We're going to be doing some crappie fishing today with the crappie king himself, Kurt Rambo. Kurt, first of all, Pat, appreciate being out here with you. And I'm well, looking forward to learning a lot going. about these crappie. Well, we'll try. We'll sure try our best. This lake's got a tremendous population of crappie in it. Yeah, it's got a lot of black crappie. It's probably, uh, somebody said Fish and Game estimated about 9 million crappie in this 9 lake. million. Yeah, so we'll find out. Well, we're here in the fall and the water temperature is what, about 80 degrees on top? Uh, surf like temperature about 81, 82 degrees. Uh -huh. Where are you finding the crappie at? Most fish are laying in between 17, 25 foot of water right now. They're suspended about two, three feet off the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, during your brushy bays, they're not really on your points so much. This time of year, you, <clears throat> you need brush. So you want to check your 20, 15, 20 foot of water mm -hmm. until you find brush and then, just, and then just try that. Most of our fishing is going to be horizontal, or excuse me, vertical jigging right now, just uh -huh. straight up and down. And the whole key is just work your jig real slow and keep it in that fish zone mm -hmm. <clears throat> because they're biting real light right now, just a real, real light action. It should be 25, 30 foot of water and then break up into Say 20 foot of water is your best right now. How, how do you really go about tracking these crappie and following them this time of the year? Other than, than that type structure, what right. are you basically looking for? Well, they're, in the summertime, they're usually out deep. And mm -hmm. they'll stay out in the middle of the lake and they'll chase their shad around. Usually first September, they'll start coming in. So basically, about the first week in September, you'll see them start moving in. We're in the last week of September now, so they're moving in better. Mm -hmm. Your bigger fish haven't really got here yet, but they'll It'll be here heavier probably within about mid-October. What's about so, the average size of crappie you think we'll be looking to catch today? Probably three-quarter pound. Three-quarter and up. Huh? We should get some two-pound, two-and-a-quarter maybe. Well, this lake's got a lot of big, big crappie in it, it does, too, right? It does. But your big fish are mostly in November and in February. Okay. So. Why don't you take a minute and kind of talk a little <coughs> bit about the equipment that you use, because I know that's very important. Okay. Um, and maybe a little bit on the baits that we're going to be using here. You bet. Mostly, I would... I suggest a five and a half foot uh, real light graphite rod, something in the 16th to 32nd ounce. Uh, the real ultra, ultra light spinning reel and a four pound test line. Nothing heavier than a 16th ounce jig, maybe a 32nd even. But your four pound test line is your key plus your rod. Your reel doesn't, isn't really that important, but you need a real sensitive rod. Your, your crappie butt, extremely light, awfully light. So. On half time, it's all guesswork. And your grub, I'm using a little two-inch Berkeley. These are little power grubs. Yeah, right? little power grubs, chartreuse grub, and they got a little curl tail on them, and they're just excellent for crappie right now. Well, you know, I, you, I was very impressed when you were showing me there on the ramp the action of these little tails <coughs> in the water. It just doesn't take any movement at all to make that little. Look at that little tail swim right there. Just barely pull that thing, and that tail just really ripples right, right along. Yes, yeah, by far the best there is that I've used. Tube jigs are awful good, but this seems to even surpass them right now. Well, you know, the, the, the power bait phenomenon itself yeah. has really been on the last couple of years in, in worms. These people have got an excellent product, right. and it's catching fish all over the country. It's hard to beat right now. You bet. Well, listen, we've got a beautiful morning. This water is absolutely slick as glass. Perfect. It ought to be ideal for this light tackle. Let's get to fish, I think. I think we'll do real good, Pat. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. You stay with us, because we'll be right back with some exciting crappie fishing from Roosevelt Lake. Hi, and welcome back. We got the graph running here the, right now, and we're trying to locate some fish here in about 18 to 20 foot of water. And Kirk, kind of show us what you're seeing there on the graph. Okay, you can see the bottom right here where the light, the light gray stops. And the dark, one time you have dark above there before you fight, that's fish or brush. And I think this is mostly fish in here. You can see the bigger fish are laying on, on top. There may be some shad mixed in there. But most of that dark stuff, anytime you find something like that, it's a good fishing area because it shows something's in there. Later on, we'll show you where it's just a, a gray and white, and there's no dark in between. That means it, 
just a solid line then. Right, there's no fish in there, but right here you can see a lot of Yeah, dark. all of this all of this stuff up in this area of the graft right here where I'm laying that grub, you can see those fish. We're not we don't have much movement on the boat right yeah. now, so the fish rather than getting the good arcs, there's really just basically a straight line. But that whole area right there that we just went over looks like it's just full of fish. So there's a whole covey of them down there. Most fish right here are gonna be small. They're just a, a lot of small fish right here, but there's one right there. That didn't take long. No. He was right on the bottom almost. Oh, that's not a bad little crappie. Yeah, he about a half pound maybe. We dropped that marker buoy right on. Mm-hmm. We'll see what you There's, oh, he come off. Need to get off. Doggone it. He yeah. really wrapped it too. Yeah. Once they get, once they get turned on, they'll start. Now, sometimes you just feel real light, light, light tips. Just feel like a very tipping brush, but sometimes they'll smack pretty hard. There was yeah, one, he well, just picked it up. There wasn't little, even a tap to that one. Oh, that's a little better fish yeah, too. Yeah, he is. A little bit better. Mm -hmm. Nah. Yeah. yeah, he's a little better than the one I got. That was just soft pressure on that one. <laughs> there's some fish right here. I mean there's some fish here. What's the little grub's doing a trick, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's tough to beat this little chartreuse grub right now. Okay. Well, he's, he's really he's inhaled it. That's a nice fish. Mm -hmm. He's a little better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that's number 10 already. Yep. Yeah. Get on down there, Jig. Go to hunting. Just slowly picking it up off the bottom. I had one pick it up right there. That gummit. Yeah. Slow on the trigger. Just let her go all the way down, hit that bottom, and then. That may have been bottom right there. That's a fish right there. That's a fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That's the best one so far right there. Yeah, <clears throat> they're in good shape. He is really colored up too. That's some fat. It sh this sure, sh sure ruins your work schedule. Yeah. You know that? <laughs> sure does. There we there was. We might Just be a to breathe on it. Yeah, he looks a little better. He looks a little better, don't he? Yeah, he's swimming around. A little tougher than that other one. Yeah, yeah boy, look at here. We're talking crappie here. They're good fighters this time of year, as warm as that water is. <clears throat> oh, this is a beautiful fish here. Boy, I'm getting that thing right in the roof of their mouth. That's a good place to hook them. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just about an inch inside their mouth, mm -hmm. right on top there. That's perfect. Then we'll have to pop that one with the pliers too. Yes, uh, yeah. I think I broke my jig, did I? Yeah, I did. Be that was a I'm big one. To be gentle with you. That was a big one. Look at there. Broke you right off, didn't he? Uh, he must have been a he must have been a two pounder. At least. Well, I got you back in the bottom of the boat again. I can yeah. get one now. There's some fish Got right here. Got one right there. Yep. All right. I think we're getting back into them now here. They may yeah. have moved a foot or two on us. Yeah, they did a little bit. He feels, that acts like a nice fish. Yeah, he does. He feels, oh, that is a nice yeah, one, he's Kirk. Yeah, better. He bought nice three, crop. He bought three quarters, maybe. Yeah, he's pretty fish. Oh, that's, that is nice size right there. That's good pan size fish. That's good eat. Good filleting right there. Black crop. I think we're back into them here now. It looks like I see a lot of them down there. We're about 21 foot. You just gotta wait till it hits the bottom. Come on. Okay. I just got bit. Did you? Mm -hmm. He yeah. turned it loose. Yeah, there's some fish right here, I think. I think we're back into it. There he was. Yep. 
he finally come back on it. Little guy. Little guy. I, I feel some brush right here too. Uh, you little turkey. <laughs> They're messing with us. <laughs> you miss a lot of them, I'll tell you that. Patience, patience. Okay. There we got it. Slow and easy. Nice smooth, sl slow movements, all you want. Other pretty nice fish. Yeah. See the shad coming up out of them? Mm hmm. So they're definitely eating them shad. They got plenty to eat. It was neat how he spit them shad up and the old bluegill come up and got him. Well, you little booger. <laughs> That's not right. Don't be messing with me like that. Yeah. They like that old Berkeley grub. That, does, that old poor grub does it. Boy, he spit shad up all over the place. Well, he did. He was full of them, wasn't he? Look at he? that. And the, and the bluegill's coming up after it to eat it. I got him that time. Yep. He fooled with it enough time. I know it. I know it. You'll, they'll keep messing. <laughs> Come on up here. You're not that mean. Well, you son of a gun. I got about four strikes on this one. About four strikes out of that one fish? At least. Boy, I am there sticking he, them all right in there. The roof. He, there he finally messed up. Right in the roof. Yeah. I hope you know I've lost count. <laughs> I think I think you have to buy lunch if I'm not. Uh, I can do that. <laughs> uh, you, you start talking about lunch, I start fishing harder. Okay. Little one, little one, bitty one. I jump in there. Whoops, he just dove off on you. Let's get a double here there, maybe. See if I can get one on there real quick. I was almost a little late on this one. Nope. He was swimming down towards Apache with it when I caught up with him. They have abused my little grub. <coughs> Put a new one on there if you want to. Boy, this thing is full of them right yeah, here. There is a ton of fish. Oh, right that's here. another nice fish. Yeah. Now what's the limit on these, Kurt? Oh, you have to be a gentleman about that. There is no limit. There isn't a limit? No, they should have one on it. I look, I look for them in the next few years to put a limit on it. But right now they have none. But I think you'll see one. I'd like to see maybe a 20 fish limit or something like that. That'd be a fair amount. Sure. If you got two people in the boat, that's 40 fish. That's plenty of fish. That's a lot of good eating in 40 fish. You bet. You stay with us, we'll be right back. We're gonna make a move, and we'll be right back with some more crappie fishing. About a half pound. Ooh, hey, cut that, hey. Well, we're right on the mark of buoy now. Turkey. Right on them. Look at that, just put it down there and pick it up, and they're on it. Let one go I and mean, bring one in. There is a wad of them right here. I do mean a wad. I don't believe I've ever seen crappie as fat as these things are yeah, for this time healthy. of the year. Well, all these shad move in here in early September and that's what brings the crappie in. And they school up back these bays and get in that brush. <clears throat> Probably most of the dark stuff you see right there pat is shad, I imagine. Yeah. And there's crappie in amongst them. Getting right in on them. Yep. Oh, you rascal. Did he peck ya? Yep. He, just, he snuffed her, but I didn't snuff him. Yeah, don't do that. The last two times my jig's gone down just like that, and I no more pick it up, and there he is again. <laughs> it's just automatic. <laughs> the minute you start to pick it up. You're trying to get out of All right. You're trying to get out of buying lunch, Pat, I think. Jump for me one time. No, he's not going to do it. He says, if you'll just unhook me and turn me back, that's all I need.
I got to get him out of this honey hole. I'll tell you what, this kind of fishing would be great to get some young kids in. Oh, and it though? Be easy yeah. fishing for them. Yeah. Once they learn the technique. <laughs> well, I tried that uh, up here in that big brother's and sister thing. I tried that minnows. I, I brought out six dozen minnows so that boy could catch them in the minnows, but they didn't do no good. But they hit that jig, but they wouldn't hit them minnows. Well, that's odd, isn't it? No, not really. Most of the time, jig off fish a minnow. Look at there, it. just put it down there and they just jump all over it. Bring it up here and we'll hold them up. That's How's that? That's average Roosevelt crappie. You know, a guy come up here and get on these things, catch a limit in 30 minutes and be uh, back to the house. Oh yeah. You Nothing can. to it. A lot of times I fish for an hour and then go back in. But it's not this way all, all the time. time. They'll peck it and they'll drop it real fast so as soon as you feel that butt, you got to set the hook on them or they'll blow it right back out again on you. You little devil. <laughs> now that's not right. <laughs> They're messing with us down there. Doggone it. I'm going to find a fresh fish here. I, did, I uh, got him that uh, time. Uh, I knew he'd do it. He looks good. Ah, oh, it's a little better fish, too. Looks good. <laughs> he thumped it four times before yeah, I could get a him. hook in him. Yeah. And then that time, he really engulfed it. I got one tuck on it right there. Got to have long arms for this, don't you? Nice Roosevelt crappie. He's a good fish here. Yeah, it is. Quality's improving. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he must say, probably. They always look bigger in the water. Yeah. I guess them bad in the water. Yeah. Always heavier than what they really are. Got them on there. Get in line, twist. Guy probably ought to have a swivel on here or something. Look at there. <laughs> Just running all over the lake with it. He's a good fish. All over the lake. I don't know how the twist looks so bad. Either. We got a whole board in the house full of them down here. Yep. Yeah. Super action. That's a double. There's a double. There's a double. These are about the same size. Yep. Boy, I'm telling you, there must be hundreds of these things down oh, there. There is, I'm sure. A lot of fish right there. I'll tell you what, anybody can come up here and just take a day right now, find them a little ledge with some brush on it down around 20 feet and go to jerking these things. Well, first you got to hire a guide. Though. Well, I know. <laughs> that's the toughest part, is locating them. Yeah, it is. That's that's the hardest part, finding them, and, and then learning how to fish them right. Of course, as much as you're it's after them, you stay in pretty good contact with yeah, them. I try don't to you? keep track of where they're at. But once you find them, you, if people just fish them slow, well, they'll do all right, as long as they don't move that jig too fast. That one was pretty aggressive. I'm getting bit right there. There you go. The American Angler returns in a moment. There's one. Oops, I just missed one. How's he feel? Well, he's a better fish. Okay. Better fish. He's running. I know that. You can feel that weight on him. Not real big, but he's not real bad either. Oh, look at here. Looky here. Looky here. Good. Yes, sir. Look at that. We're thing. talking gorilla crappie here. That's huge, Pat. We're talking gorilla crappie here. Look at how thick this fish is right through here. My goodness. He's right at two pounds. Oh, yeah. That is a quality fish. 
as Ken Cook said in Commodore, I believe, in fisheries biologist terms, that is a quality fish. He feels pretty good. You got a good one? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good fish. Good, nice. Eagle pound and a half, probably. Yeah, we won't mess with you. There you go. Eagle. Ah, Eagle pound and a half. Well, I'm going to turn this big boy back. Well, that's a nice fish there. That that's is a gorgeous crappie. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that's the biggest crappie I have ever caught in my life, yeah, right there. I, I believe it. That's a nice fish. Right there. Goodbye, big boy. Well, Kurt, thanks a million. This has been great, I'm telling you. I got a real education on Roosevelt catching crappie with you today. It's been a lot of fun, Pat. Seemed like those fish moved up a little bit for us this afternoon. Yeah, they came about four or five foot off the bottom. A little bit higher than this morning. This morning they're about two foot off. They start to move up a little. Seemed bit. like this morning we could catch them right down around those bushes. Right. This afternoon you had to get right above them. I think they moved up a little bit. Probably. Well, you made a good comment a while ago about those fish feeding up, right. and you need to be above those crappie or right in them. The jig needs to be above them a little bit, and they're lazy. It's got to be pretty close to the fish before they'll bite it. Well, again, we we sure enjoyed it. Get yourself some ultralight tackle, four pound line, some Berkeley power grubs. Come on down to Roosevelt and have a great time catching crappie. You'll like it. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week on our next episode of the American Angler.